All right, how's it going? Time to open shop up. And like normal, I forget to get my uh, microphone hooked up. Maybe that's... Uh, that went right. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that out. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Looks like it's uh, communicating. There's two of these. One of them says one and two, but anyway. Okay, let's see if I take that one out. Yeah, okay, I see. So the one ever one you're using, if you have a solid blue light on the transmitter. And the other one, the yellow. All right, we're going to get some updates today. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, some days. Well, to lead off, <coughs> to lead off, I... <coughs> I already um, coated three screens because we have some shirts to a screen print. Uh, we got a shipment in and uh, have a new uh, a new photo studio. Photo studios are really good. Let's see here. Anyway. So the, my new, you know, we put up these new lights in here and we have uh, cleared out a place on the floor, a big place. Uh, this uh, plywood that's down here is aged. It's a, it's an old aged plywood because this shed's 20 years old, at least 20 years old. So that floor is aged. It's a dark, it has a, it has good wood grain. Hey boy, how you doing? Champs coming in with us tonight. Anyway, that uh, floor makes a really good uh, uh, photo backdrop. I mean, you can build backdrops that look a little rustic, but it's not going to really look any better than that. Got my security guard coming through tonight, checking out. We're opening the shop up. He's got to check out. I see a few signs of uh, mice in here. We got a we didn't increase our uh, rodent protocol. Anyway, big boy's getting old. He's uh, he's suffering a little bit with uh, early onsets of uh, cancer. He's not going to be with us much longer. But we got him on some pain meds. He's gonna. He's been around for fourteen or fifteen years. He's had a long, good life on the farm, so we'll see how it goes. We're gonna to try to keep him comfortable though. Okay, so anyway. Just kind of how life is. Every book has a last chapter. So we hope the closing for him is gonna be comfortable. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna get back to business here. So we're gonna show you our new photo shop i'm just going to lean it down now and show you that you see the floor you see the grain on the floor right there and we've added in all this new lighting that grain is where we're going to we're going to take all our pictures right there we got great lighting both sides we got these leds these super bright led lighting we are going to uh, take some incredible pictures. I took one last night to send in to my daughter. When she posts that, it's going to be great. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the mail today. Oh. Uh, get the shop opened up. We got the heat press turned on, I think. Yeah. Oh, we have a 
Delta long sleeve. I could have swore. Yeah, 65-35. This is the... Uh, Oh yeah, that's right. You remember the heart uh, design we had? Uh, we were supposed to bleach that. Uh, we did bleach two long. We we were supposed to bleach. We sold three of the heart T-shirts. They should all be long sleeves. But you know, you remember we we printed the first two in uh, short sleeve. But we this is the long sleeve. We're gonna print this tonight. That'll be good. Put this right here. See what else we got today. I had forgot about that shirt. You know, that was the night that I was having a rough night. Having a real, really rough night that night. It was raining and cold and... It is, it is truly amazing how this works. <clears throat> it's truly amazing. I'm pretty sure that we place this order. It's possible we placed it two nights ago, but it seems like we placed it last night. But there's no way this is that uh, long sleeve uh, pink Bella canvas this is gonna print really good we're gonna print that this weekend all right we got some peach shirts some white shirts I just can't even remember when we print that we ordered that last night and All right, let's see what else we got here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, look at this. I don't even know what to do with this. This is our... Uh, this is our ergonomic screen. And I guess you can... This is the uh, 80 durometer. Uh, it's supposed to be stiffer. Maybe you just punch it in here. Oh, arrows face operator. Okay, the easygrip.com. This is going to be a pull. This is going to be a pull squeegee. I think. We might have to watch a Ryonet video on how to... Oh yeah, that's just going to slide in there. You know what we should do? 
here's what we should do. You know, if we like this squeegee, good. But if we don't like this squeegee, what we should do, I don't know if this angles exactly like I like it. But uh, what we should do, we have a 3D printer. I'm trying to... Well, maybe that's not the best way to even it up, but uh, anyway. Hmm. Let me uh, do a do a comparison. I couldn't find these on his website, but... So we're going to do a head-to-head -head between our normal wood squeegee. And you know what? we got a 3D printer. I don't really particularly like this one. So you know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We might, uh, and this really doesn't feel that stiff. Maybe the flex is good. I think that's got a good push. What if I want to push press, though? Hmm. We're going to watch a video on how to use this so that we do it right. And... Uh, <clears throat> we're going to be printing some shirts in a couple days and we're going to use this durometer quarter inch squeegee piece and then a really I, I feel like this material you could probably just order in bulk and maybe we have a better I'm not sure I like how this feels you know, with our 3D printer, maybe we could print something that uh, we would like better than this one. And if we do, maybe we offer it to you. We'll see. We'll see. There's no reason why we shouldn't think about what fits us. All right, we're going to put this over here. We have some shirts. And then we'll, uh, okay, so let's pick up and see what we're missing here. Let's open up the store. Okay, live view. There's nobody in our store today. Oh, total sales today. Twenty. We had one order. Let's see what somebody ordered. Oh, look at that. Huh. How about that? We sold one of the, uh, one of the red oak, uh, 32 Ford Model T. That's the first sale. Bella Canvas Silver. That's an XL Silver. Huh, how about that? Large. Large. And of course, we don't. We don't have an XL, but we will uh, we'll order some. They'll be in by Monday. Let's see. Create a shipping label. Let's see where this guy's from. Hey, uh... This guy that ordered the uh, Red Oak 1932 Ford Model T is from California. So that's an e-commerce sale 
on our backyard to backwoods apparel series. So we're going to. Huh. How about that? All right, we'll order. <laughs> All right, we don't have any silvers. All right, we need an extra large silver. <clears throat> hey, you know what? You remember the shirt we were printing the other night? Had a stain on it, and the stain washed out. So we already have the front printed. All right, so what we're going to do, I am so excited about this print. We're going to pause. We're going to pause long enough to go print out the 1932 Ford Model T. And then we'll be back to uh, print that shirt. We're waiting on the heat press to heat up anyway. All right. We had to step inside to print our... This is our 32 Roadster uh, print. We're going to print that out today. How are we doing? Oh, we're at temp. Okay. I'll print that next. We got a new shirt we're printing today. Already got it prepped and ready to go. This is uh I get used to where my print press used to be and I just automatically walk to that spot. Okay. We don't want any bugs in there, you know, we want to get our bugs out of there. Alright, so we've got a new design today we're gonna have. I think it's probably good to uh, did I even put a sheet over that I don't know sometimes I'm not paying attention but I should be excited about this shirt really let's print this shirt and see what we got here Whenever you're printing these, you have to put a cover over the pocket print. Hmm. So that it won't take any of the ink and get crazy going everywhere on you. Hope my microphone's working okay. Yeah, I'm sure I didn't put a cover sheet on that. <coughs> we'll see how that goes. Probably be okay, to be honest with you. Do a lot of things that aren't necessary. And right, we didn't put a cover sheet on there. So more than likely our image is going to be pressed on the top plate of our, our press. But that's okay. We're going to, what we'll do is uh, run a couple cycles here and get our sheets. All right, so this shirt I thought would be awesome. All right, so Down Syndrome Awareness. Look at there. I think that's a wonderful shirt. I love it. It looks good. It's printed on a Bella Canvas Silver. We're going to put it down in our uh, new photograph studio right here. I'll get myself organized a little bit here. 
could have swore I just had my push broom in my hand. You know? I just had my push broom in my hand. That'll be perfect. We need to vacuum in here. Like I say, it's always something you need to do. Okay. Photographs. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to lay this down here right on this uh, weathered plywood floor that I gave you a picture of earlier. Oh, looks good. We're going to take our phone. We're going to get a picture of that. And if you get right here between these, there's a shadow that's over here, but it doesn't get it doesn't impact the picture it's off the picture of the shirt so we got a really big led light here a really big led light over there and between the two i'll be honest with you that is a great looking photograph and we're just uh, going to take a picture of it on our phone we're going to edit it so that we, you know, block out. We're going to crop out. Basically, we're going to crop out my feet. And uh, I don't know. Uh, you can't see that. Anyway, look on our website. You'll see this uh, Down Syndrome Awareness shirt. Whew. That does look good. And my daughter posts these. We'll give her the, all right, we're going to send that out. That's a Bella Silver. It is so bright in the picture. It looks like a, a white shirt. So that's going to be a good one right there. Okay. And we're going to print one new shirt design every night. I think that's a good way to be. We're going to print a new shirt design every night. And then we have a whole rack of shirts upstairs. All right, so we have that shirt, this shirt. Man, I'm excited about... <clears throat> All right, so here's why I get excited about a sale of this type. Because we are an e-commerce store. Since we're an e-commerce store, we would love to have... You know, it's great to have your friends, your friends buy shirts from you. That's wonderful. But your friend group, if you're like me, you might have, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe you got 30 friends or maybe, you know, you know a lot of people and you got 300 friends. Okay. Maybe you got 300 friends and, uh, maybe you're really popular and you've got 3,000 friends. If you've got 3,000 friends and all of them look at your shirt uh, that you post on a, a per week, you might have three that say, hey, you know what? I like that shirt. All right, what if you have 10, 10 out of 3,000 people that say, hey, I like that shirt? Well, that's good. What if you have 50 people out of your 3,000 that say, hey, I like that shirt? And they all purchase it. Uh, that's really good. That's a very high sales rate because most of the people in your group they may not even wear t-shirts or they might not even your friends not all your friends are gonna wear t-shirts not all your friends are gonna like the style that you like they're not going to just like the shirts t-shirts I like to wear uh, there's not a, I mean maybe there's a lot of people that likes to wear t-shirts I wear but anyway all I'm saying is if you uh, have 3,000 people in your group, then you may sell 50 shirts a week. 
or probably more like 30 you know okay a lot most of them aren't going to even go to your store they're going to be busy there's a lot of things going on in life but if you have an e-commerce store that is uh able to reach uh, 30,000 people then you might sell okay we use the same example instead of 50 shirts to 3,000 we would sell 500 shirts to 30,000 that's a good number what if you reach 300,000 people then you can sell 50 uh let's see 50 shirts to 3,000 500 shirts to 30,000 5,000 shirts to 300,000 people and when you're dealing with the uh, volume of Google and Google ads and shopping carts and e-commerce, 300,000 people that are available that might want to look at your site, just like your 3,000 friends might want to look at your site. Because they're busy. They got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, they're getting bombarded from every side from av this ad that ad everybody wants to sell your 3,000 friends something so you sell 50 shirts so really I believe that if you uh, can reach out to the 300,000 or the three 300,000. Uh, there's a lot of people. Maybe you're reaching out 3 million people. But look at that. That's a wonderful shirt. That's the back. And then on the front, you got the Red Oak Trading Company. It's a soft, it's a Bella canvas, it's a silver. It's a, we just happen to have one in his size tonight. We're so excited. And order fulfillment time. We got this order. <laughs> now, when you get excited, and you can, if you can, let's see when they place this order. I didn't see this order. Okay. So he placed this order at 1210 today. So, <clears throat> so by tomorrow morning, maybe it's going to go out in the mail tomorrow. So less than 24 hours. His shirt's in the mail. It's on the way to California. You know, this shirt is, uh, it's rustic. I mean, it's a rustic, it's a good, it's a good daily t-shirt. I wear the shirt, you know, this series of shirt. I wear every day as a t-shirt. Yeah, so see. Where does a t-shirt? It's the Red Oak Series t-shirts. They're great. They're comfortable. They're lightweight. They're thin. And then whenever I'm working out, I just take off my flannel shirt if I need to. If I get hot, take off my flannel shirt. And you can see me print shirts in my video. In my, I think I had my duck shirt on the other day, and maybe the turkey shirt. We've got a black lab shirt. We've got a lot of, uh, not a lot, it's a new collection. We've got maybe six or seven shirts on there. So every season, every season I'm gonna add to that. Maybe uh, once a month, maybe, I'm gonna add a new, country store shirt today and really really I'd like to do a maybe I do some more uh, old uh, vehicle so I used to have a 55 Ford and then I told you my screensavers at 69 Ford pickup and then I had a uh, I used to have a 77 Cutlass it was a nice car but anyway, maybe we could do, uh, I mean, backyards to backwoods. I don't know. Are you going to park your car in the backyard? Pretty sure you're going to like it. 
so I have this country store print. I need to kind of match it up. I thought it would go with more of a, yeah, I think it's going to go more of this tan color. Yeah, I like this. Let me I'll print this one for myself. Sometimes you got to print yourself a t-shirt. Yeah, I think this is going to match up good. I like this on the tan. Okay. This is our country store shirt. And really, now that I think about it, let's see if I have an extra large. This is going to be another one that my dad's going to love. Okay, we're going to, we're not going to print this shirt for me. We're going to print another shirt for my dad. That's what we're going to do. He's the 32. He's the uh, 1932 Roadster. And I really thought the descriptor on the 1932 Roadster shirt was really special. I don't know if you got a chance to look at that, but I thought that was a good read. It just talks about my dad and... Uh, Let's see if we have a print over here that we can use. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, I know we did the new collection shirt for my daughter. And... Uh, Show you how this goes, okay? <laughs> Man, habits. When you walk to a, uh, sorry, when you walk to a certain spot in the shop for like ten thousand times, instinctively you walk to that spot every time. Yeah, this is going to be a nice one, too. Be real nice. Yeah, you know, our goal is to get our fulfillment time down. But a lot of times, we have an artificially high fulfillment time because it'll... We don't close the books out like we need to. Should be closing our books out better than we do. All right, we'll get this in the mail. Have our new print. And we're going to be adding this, we're going to call this one, I think, we might call this one Country Store instead of 32, should we call it 32 Ford or should we call it, you'll see what I'm saying in a minute. Okay. Okay, we're going to cover up that and we're going to flip it over I'm going to love this one dad's going to love this one this is a great one uh, I guess we'll call it 32 model T I want to do a shop notebook too you know I'm always designing doodling in my notebook I'm a scientist I build stuff I design stuff 
just like my squeegee I think I'm gonna design a squeegee that I like and 3d print it I think we're gonna write that down in our notebook that's gonna be a project for us we're gonna I think we should uh, we should design and print stuff that we like to use okay We're going to say design and print a squeegee handle. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Maybe, just maybe, Ryonet calls me. What if Ryan calls me from Ryonet Screen Printing, screenprint.com, and he says, Hey, Red Oak, we like that squeegee y'all have, uh, the handle. We like the squeegee handle y'all have. Can you send us some? what 100 100 of them yeah we can print those and then we got our 3d printers what would be bad with having a uh, a shop out here that is a uh, 3d print farm and then we can run t-shirts we can run a 3d print farm and we can do other things that's why we picked the red oak trading company because we don't have to be our, our prior business was a was a, had a screen print reference and then a uh, screen printing and sublimation. We just got tired of that, changing that migration. And we went to a trading company because uh, we want to be able to handle anything. We don't know where we're going. But I know where we're going with this shirt. This is a, oh, look at that. You're going to love this shirt. While I was going, I went ahead and did another, look at that print. Look how, that is amazing. Let's get over here. Uh, like glare. Look at that print. It's a country store. The mountain in the background. It's, it's a old 32. That's hard to beat that. That print's hard to beat. You know, and this, this is unique. This design, you know, a lot of our designs are common on the, uh, on the internet. You can find most of our designs. We buy our designs from designers. And they have, most of our designs are, are uh, designers that offer their products online. So we buy designs and then we print them. Now this design is unique to Red Oak. It's part of the Red Oak series. I created this design uh, myself. So this design is unique to Red Oak Trading Company. You will not find this design anywhere. Anywhere. I mean, I guess unless somebody... Even if somebody tried to steal this from us, they cannot recreate this design. Maybe they could. Maybe they could take a picture and recreate it. I don't know. I guess a, a sketch artist. Yeah, I'll take that back. A good sketch artist can can redraw this design. He, I bet he could. But this design is uh, one that I designed. So it's not available on the market other than through Red Oak Trading Company right now because currently it's not available on the market at all because it's a new design for today. And we are going to take pictures and we're going to be posting this shirt. Let's see. Okay. It's a good image. Liked it. Okay. This photo booth is looking good. How much time? we got 22 minutes. I am struggling uploading these videos. We're going to keep it less than an hour. I know these are so exciting. These are riveting. These videos are... Whew, that looks good. Okay. We'll edit that a little later and 
and get it set for our website. I'll be adding this one. I don't know if I'm going to make this, uh, if I'm going to call this country store or 32. Maybe I have the combination in the title. But it is a good looking video. It is a tan villa. Woof. And I know you can't see my pictures on the phone, but boy, this uh, I, this photo booth is a step up from the. Oh, it's this great. So our photo booth cost us how much money? How much money did our photo booth cost us? Wow, how much of money did our photo booth cost us? This is the floor of our old shop building that I bought from my sister. All right, we're going to package this up. My dad's going to be so excited to get another shirt. I'm going to send him another one. We have to... Uh, the bottom line is I had stopped printing the Red Oak style t-shirts because you know I'm a I'm really a minimalist and I don't I have about seven t-shirts so you got seven t-shirts you got one for every day of the week you're clogging up your closet with t-shirts but my dad he would like some t-shirts so I need to keep him in mind so when I'm doing something in the backyard I need to print a t-shirt for uh, a picture. I need to print a t-shirt for a picture. And if I print it in his size, then I can just send it to him. And then eventually he'll have a whole closet full of t-shirts. And I'll have a whole closet full of t-shirts. And I'll have to start finding somebody else to send t-shirts to. So what if you volunteered to receive free t-shirts from the company? You think you... What kind of opportunity would that be? What if I sent you free t-shirts because I have too many t-shirts. My dad's got too many t-shirts. and Maybe you volunteer. If you comment back and say, hey, I'll volunteer to get a couple free t-shirts, I'll send you one free t-shirt. Just to comment to this video, this video, and say, hey, I'll wear a red oak t-shirt. And you send me your size and your what red oak backyard to backwoods design in our collection. And I'll, I'll print you a t-shirt and send it to you free of charge. But you get to comment to this video. And you got to get on here and then you just say, hey, I like that 32 Roadster. Maybe that first one or maybe you look online. Maybe you like the Black Lab or the Turkey or the Wood Duck or, or that Southern Diamondback Rattlesnake shirt. That's a good one. Maybe you like that one. Ah, we're going to send you a shirt. All you got to do is comment and say, hey, man send me the southern diamond back or that bass i got a i got a large mouth bass shirt on there that's killer it's chasing some minnows and uh, you just comment back and say hey i'll take a large and the first person that comments me back i think this is going to be we're going to promote these youtube videos by shirt giveaways we're going to give away a shirt i might give away a shirt every night if you comment back I'll send you a shirt and uh, how good can that be that's a pretty good deal because my dad's gonna get too many shirts pretty quick and what that would do is give me a good outlet hmm. 
All right, we know we got to print this one, so let's do it next. Okay. Oh, we finished that bleach. Oh, that uh, heart shirt with the bleach. This one's a different brand. And it's not quite the heather bleach, heather red. Uh, this one is more of a red red. So we're going to see how it turns out on a bleach format. The idea is that uh, I'm going to be honest with you out there at my workstation. I was taking pictures out there, but I like these photographs in here better. And when I was taking pictures out there, you had to climb up on a ladder. You had to uh, hold the phone up above the light and you were up the you know, you were up on a workbench, and then you were up on a ladder, and then you'd hit your head on stuff up in the... And, uh, anyway, when you just throw... A, if you can just throw a shirt down on the floor and get a great picture... Ha! Dang it, boy! That's better. I don't feel like I'm hitting my head when I'm taking a picture on something on the floor. And the lighting's better in here. Man, that's great. That picture I took is wonderful. So, all right. So we're going to introduce the new Country Store 32 Ford. We might have both of those in the descriptor because you don't need to leave out. Uh, the main thing with search engine optimization is if a guy is looking for a 32 Ford t-shirt... Here I am again walking over here. If a guy's looking for a 32 Ford t-shirt in California, I wonder how many people in the world are looking for a muscle car or antique car or a four-wheel drive truck t-shirt. And I'm pretty sure I can do I don't think there'd be any copyright problems with me doing old old car shirts. And then if I went to the car show with my dad and we're wearing an old car shirt around, hey, maybe somebody would want to say, hey, where'd y'all get that shirt? That's a good looking shirt. And then we could, uh, what if the car show said, hey, you print some car shirts for us? We're going to sell like. We need 6,000 shirts for Saturday because we're going to have a lot of traffic through here this weekend. Can you have them here Saturday morning? 6,000 shirts Saturday morning. That'd be a good order. Because they like our car shirts. Maybe we do some muscle cars. <laughs> I like that. Hey, I'm going to need to go ahead and cut this video. We're, at a, we're getting close to the hour mark and uh, I can't upload it if I just keep talking. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to just keep working. We're going to, you know, we can't record everything we do every night. I would love to. All right, this printed good. This is a different, like I say, it's a different red, but it printed good. We're going to see how it bleaches. It should, we bleached these shirts before. It should bleach just fine. Yeah, I don't see any reason why it's not going to be perfect. So we'll get going on that bleach job. We'll have it ready in a couple days. Remember, <clears throat> remember, the first person that comments with their size and their shirt request, I'll print on a shirt, but it's got to be from the uh, the backyard to backwoods uh, collection, okay? All right, I'm going to see you tomorrow night.